Mastering Negotiation and Persuasion in English. Hello, language learners. Today, we are delving deep into a fascinating part of conversational English, negotiation and persuasion. This is not only about grammar or vocabulary, but also about the strategies you use when you communicate. It's about influencing others, reaching agreements, and resolving conflicts in a positive way. So, let's get started. Persuasion is all about influencing someone's thoughts, feelings, or actions. It requires a fine balance of emotion and logic. Let's look at some strategies. 1. Appeal to emotion. We often persuade by connecting emotionally. For example, instead of saying, you should exercise, try, you'll feel so much better and energized after a workout. 2. Use of evidence. Back your arguments with facts. For instance, research shows that people who exercise regularly have a lower risk of health problems. 3. Storytelling. Stories can captivate people and make your point relatable. I know a person who started exercising regularly, and their health improved dramatically. Negotiation is about finding common ground and reaching a mutual agreement. Let's go over some techniques. 1. Active listening. Show you understand the other person's point of view. For example, I understand you're concerned about the project deadline. 2. Assertiveness. Express your needs and wants clearly but respectfully. I believe we need more time to deliver a quality project. 3. Problem solving. Offer solutions that benefit both parties. What if we extend the deadline by a week and add an additional resource to the project? Practice makes perfect. Let's try some role play scenarios involving negotiation and persuasion. 1. Scenario 1. You're at a car dealership, persuading the dealer to give you a discount. 2. Scenario 2. You're negotiating with a roommate about splitting house chores. 3. Scenario 3. You're a manager persuading your team to work over the weekend. Remember, the key is to listen, express your views respectfully, and find a common ground. And that's a wrap on negotiation and persuasion in English. Use these strategies and techniques to become a more effective communicator. Keep practicing with our role play scenarios and real life situations. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep learning and keep communicating.